Hey y'all. Now, we don't do a lot of baking here on Paleo U, and that's for many, many reasons, including the fact that it often requires lots of specialty flours and expensive ingredients. This recipe is one of the few times when we will be using a specialty flour, however, and in this case, we're using coconut flour. But while I'm calling this recipe bread, it's not really bread, and it's definitely not intended to be used as a bread substitute. That's just the closest analogy for what the final product is. Okay, let's get cooking. First, heat the oven to 400 and line a baking dish with parchment paper. You can use a square or round baking dish, your preference. Place the cauliflower florets in a pan, cover with water, and then place on the stove. Turn the heat to medium high and simmer for 15 minutes or until the florets are soft enough for a spoon to mash them. Drain the cauliflower and rinse with cold water. Set it aside. While the cauliflower is cooking, add a little oil to a pan over a medium low flame. Add the chopped portion of the red onion and cook for 10 minutes or until soft. Turn off the heat. In a large bowl, whisk the eggs. Then add the rosemary, cooked onions, coconut flour, baking powder, and turmeric. Mix everything together. Add the cauliflower florets and fold them in gently. Pour the mixture into the parchment lined baking dish. Arrange the onion slices on top and sprinkle with sesame seeds. Place the baking dish in the oven and cook for 45 to 50 minutes or until golden brown. You'll know it's done because a knife should come out clean when inserted into the center. Once cooked, let the bread cool a little bit before serving. Dig in. Oh, 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 oh,